Hi, welcome back. Here we're going to be showing you how to create a simple crouching function in the Unreal Engine 4 first person blueprint. So first off, we're going to want to go to our character here, our first person character, by going into the first person BP blueprint and then double left click first person character. Okay, that will bring you up to the blueprints here. I'm just going to go to viewport. Okay. And then I want to find the ability to crouch. Okay, so in this instance it's already actually set up for the class. So you want to go over here and press this button to open the property matrix. Just found this is the easiest way. Okay, and then search bar, put crouch, and then you want to go to this bit, movement component, and tick can crouch. Okay, now we can close that and compile. So now our character can crouch. Okay, this is an automatic setup where you can do it yourself to move the camera lower down. As you can see, crouch camera height is by default 32, just half the height. So now we're going to want to go to event graph. And we're going to right click. And you can use whatever button you want, but I'm going to use control. I'm going to use the left one. And then I'm going to come off pressed by dragging, letting go, and searching for crouch. Okay, and then on release, I'm going to search for uncrouch. Compile it and play. Now when I press left control, I can crouch. And your speed and height is automatically set for you. Okay, now if you want it to just be a simple button press instead of holding it, what we have to do is go to this variable section over here and create a new one and I'm going to call mine boo crouch and as you can see it's already set to a boolean which is what we want I'm going to compile it and its default value should be set to false so no tick so I'm going to go in here and get this and then I'm going to right click and type in branch when pressed go to the branch boo crouch is true then we want to uncrouch and if it's false we want to crouch we're using the crouch boolean as our condition here and then we're going to drag that back in and set it so if it's now when we set it to crouch we're going to set it to true control c and control v that one and when we're uncrouching we want to set it to false i'm going to press c to get a comment drag this out and in the comment I'm just going to call this crouch compile play now I just have to button press it okay if you to use the setting to do this I you'd probably just use an if statement to check if they have the setting to toggable or not and then go into the relevant ones if it's toggable then you want it how we've just set it up here if it's not to toggable and they just want to hold it then you do it the way we did it originally and that is a very simple way to create a crouch function. Thanks for watching the tutorial. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you have opinions otherwise, just leave a comment. And if you have any advice, questions, or anything else you want to say, leave it in the comments down below as well. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks. Bye.